Well, the guys at Scree have been busy making updates. So I've just installed the latest version of the Scree software, and this allows you to actually work out the angle that the target is away from the sensor, also the direction that they're moving, so towards or away from, and also whether they're moving to left side or the right side. What I'm also gonna show you is what I've managed to work out about how the zones work. So how to actually work out the zone settings to set the zones up, and then seeing how the target is identified in those different zones. So let's have a look. I've opened up the Screek to have a look what's inside. As you see, it's quite a simple device. We've got our microprocessor or microcontroller on this side, and then we've just got it connected via a couple of wires to our millimeter wave sensor there. And as you can see, it's got two little holes in a 3D printed case, which allows access to the boot and the RST button on the microcontroller. So first of all, let's have a look at the target angle. So if I try and get directly in front of this, you'll see that it's moving towards zero. There we go, it's now moved to the positive. So as I move to the other side of the sensor, you can see it is increasing the angle that I am directly away from the sensor. If I move back in the other direction, you will see that it goes into the negative degrees. Now target position, at the moment I'm standing still. If I start moving, I'm moving away or I'm approaching the sensor. Um, and then we also have the left or the right of the sensor. So at the moment, I'm standing on the left side of the sensor. If I move on to this side of the room, I'm on the right-hand side of the sensor. So those are all the new features. Now, going back to the zone settings, if you look down the bottom, you'll see we've got an X and a Y. So it's showing me my coordinates. So if you see now, if I move to a little bit further away, um, I'm going to move into zone. Let's get into zone two. So there we go. I'm in zone two now. So zone two is detecting me. If I move back in this direction, you will see that zone one is detecting me. Now, how did I set these zones up? So I went directly to the actual output of the sensor, the web address. And if we look down over here, we've got the settings for this. So zone one, it's going to start at a certain point and it's ended at another point for X and Y. So I've set it from zero to a thousand, zero to a thousand. And that's why currently, um, zone one, I am detected in because I am standing at between zero and 100 on each of those measurements. So if I move to zone two, zone two now, you will see that I have gone from 1,000 to 2,000 in each of the coordinates. So if I move back into that zone over there, there we go. They're both in 1,000 and I've been detected in zone two. Move slightly, there we go, detected in zone two. So this is working really, really cool. Well done to the guys at Squeak. I'm really looking forward to future developments of the sensor. That's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye then.